stress, baby. I know you've been going through your mess lately. You've been working hard to give your best, baby. Honestly, I can't give you no less, baby. Don't stress, baby. Maybe you don't know this, but I see you. Every dude around you wanna be you. Want you to know how you inspire me. Watching you hustle like to find me. Yeah. We're gonna start this experience by stopping at the Willie Taco in Spartanburg, South Carolina. And of course, I had a coupon to get those free tacos. Made it to Charlotte. Then we're gonna check into the hotel. Town Charlotte. Here is the room where I'll be for the next two nights. Compliments of B7, Spartanburg, clean, a little old, a little old, a little rusty. I got my shower shoes. Mm hmm. Yep. Where the lights switch at. Hmm. This we all natural light. Let's see if we got any kind of view here. Got some trees. Got a street. Alright. We got a view. Ain't God good all the time? God is good all the time. Yeah, this is real nice. Oh, wow. That looks beautiful. Mm. Chips. I love to walk downtown, uptown, whatever you want to call it. So beautiful. The weather is perfect out here. Those chicken wings, man, did something to me. Was, the restaurant had a 4.7 rating. I Googled best wings and that salad with the avocado and the onions, it was busting. I'm in the epicenter. Definitely not uh, popping like it used to be. I used to come here to the um, Moe's all the time. Pretty much the only place I ever came. Um, and then they have, uh, I think I did actually go to the Red Diner one time. And then they have Insomnia Cookies. I'm not even sure if they're still open. This is relaxing. They have this in Charlotte. We have an actual river, the Reedy River. So they got some kind of art one. It's, I think it lasts maybe like a week and a half, two weeks. 
is uptown as well as uh, Ballantine, Ballantine. It's not a pretty picture, but there's the moon. The view from the hotel room. Yep. individualized tutoring services, but we always do it with a twist, right? There's always what I believe is that coaching aspect that it's not just teaching, reading, and math. It's really bringing in other aspects of the whole student, right? Kind of using this framework uh, from Jim Knight, and we said, we want to make sure everybody has a set of coaching principles. So what kind of shared principles do we have from the district level? Now that's a tough one. That's a Diane Sweeney coaching move. So that's like you pick out the four students in your classroom, you pay attention to what they're doing, the moves that they're making, the misconceptions. So that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about three different things. I'm going to talk about how AI can be used in coaching, um, in calibration, and in collaboration. So in those three ways. This is two. We're wanting to try to get into here, see what the hype is about. Guessing it's supposed to be a largest, most engaging furniture store with a dining hall or restaurant right beside the top golf here in Charlotte, North Carolina. There's a lot going on in here. A lot. Mm. 
Mm -mm -mm. Never seen anything quite like this. Like you feel like you're in, I don't know, like a fake house, a doll house, maybe an actor's, an actor's set. Like real kitchen stuff in here. Crazy. Clothes hanging in the closet. And I'm clearly going the wrong way. This place is entirely too big, and I'm trying to figure out how to get out of here. start my day by making the bed at least you know as best as I can <clears throat> quickly and then we're off to day two for the conference that we can do and the reason that I say it's not the coaching cycle to me the important part of this was that every teacher because here's what I here's what I've discovered talking to coaches when I go to, to talk through the tools and systems that I had that got us to the success that you're in here for today. So what will the future of our schools look like? This is a thought that scares me. It really, really scares me. I pulled North Carolina stats last night because we're just in North Carolina. Oh, hey there. We're at uh, Shake Shack. I wanted to try that veggie burger again. This is the Woodlawn location, which is right beside uh, Velvet Taco, my other favorite spot. Oh, yeah. Uh, come on. 
veggie burger and my french fries from last night. Don't judge. There's the city over there. We're in Ballantine, which is going to serve as, or well, is serving as a developing ed city in North, North Carolina, Charlotte, Mecklenburg County. It is in the city limits of Charlotte. Very interesting. Um, a lot of times it's some controversy when you have townhomes or single homes right beside a a big taller building I'm on the eighth floor of a parking garage or deck so over there slow down and focus get in the shade even though it feels great out here is Carowinds how cool is that you can see the kind of the mountains I'm not sure what that other taller building is over there. Uh, this is also like super duper duper close to South Carolina border. Obviously Carowinds is halfway in South Carolina. Uh, Ballantine is on the outside of the 485 loop and super close to Indian Mill, which then connects over to Fort Mill, Rock Hill area. Kind of reminds me of um, the epicenter. See the pillars back there? Thank you so much for subscribing, watching this video, watching this channel, watching other videos. Um, all you need is that Google YouTube login and hit the thumbs up button underneath the video. Until next time, peace.